Hey, Andrew, um, what, what's the uh, area that, that you're, uh, you know, proud of in terms of what you were able to, to do this season? Um, I think just being able to stop, uh, set the edge and be able to stop the, stop the, um, help stop the run, you know, force everything back in, inside to where the help is and um, really just added my strength and um, continue to just, uh, you know, try to get after the quarterback the best I could. I think that's, you know, a huge step in the right direction and something I can build off of. Go ahead, Joe. Um, I know that one of the things that folks are talking about is um, sort of like, what was the message after the game yesterday? Obviously, that was a very tough loss. What, what, what sense do you get in, in terms of like what Flo and the other coaches want you to keep in mind in the offseason? Uh, to use this as fuel for the fire, you know, um, obviously that one stung and um, you know, and just to remember that feeling and hope, um, you know, use it as motivation in the off season and um, use it going forward and um, just use that to help um, push you to be the best player and work on your weaknesses throughout the off season. Kyle? Andrew, um, my question is uh, from a team perspective, when you look at what you accomplished this year, winning 10 games after five last year, and yet what was left on the table, um, how do you classify this year? Successful, unsuccessful? What do you take away from this year? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, when you can go from five to 10 wins, you know, that's a pretty good jump. And um, But to not make it to the playoffs and get to where we wanted to go, you know, it's kind of a disappointment to, um, to me to not reach the playoffs. So. Um, but just to see where we came from and how far we've come and, you know, all the work and dedication every guy on this team has put in throughout the season to get to this point and um, to improve on a daily basis uh, has really helped this team grow. Travis? Hey, Andrew, I don't know if you saw this uh, stat, but you, Kyle Van Noy, and Jerome Baker all had at least five sacks this year. It's the first time the Dolphins have had three linebackers with five or more sacks. I'm wondering what that might mean to you and what it says about your pass rush that you guys have so many guys that can produce big numbers like that. Right. Um, and I think the coaches put an emphasis on it this offseason and um, it's something that all of us um, in the linebacker room and in the D line, you know, that we put an emphasis on and what we wanted to improve on. Cause yeah, after last season, uh, we didn't have as many sacks as we would have liked. So I'm just seeing improvement there. And um, really the focus point of um, that and turnover is just being able to um, get after the quarterback and get him on the ground. It's a huge deal. So um, it means a lot.